Hi, I'm Jenny Oaks Baker. Welcome to my sixth YouTube vlog um, on my America's Violinist YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about what it's like to be a concert violinist and a mother at the same time. So because I have four children and I don't want to be away from them, I don't go on long tours. I don't have like a tour bus where I go from concert to concert and are away for weeks at a time. I just go, I, I fly out the same day as my first rehearsal. I get there, I rehearse the next day, I'll have a show, or sometimes I'll even have a show that night, and I fly back on the very first flight in the morning to get back to my kids and my husband. Um, I never take a day off between, I never like fly in the day before if possible, I never take a day off to kind of acclimate, I just get back to my children as soon as possible, and I think that means a lot to them because they know that I my heart is with them at all times and I, I want to be with them as much as possible. I do have this passion for violin and performing and I do love to be a performer and I do put them on my concerts as much as possible. So if I have a local show and I can and I'm, I'm in charge, I always put them on that show and audiences seem to enjoy them performing as well. You can see a lot of their performances on my other on my YouTube channel, um, Jenny Oaks Baker YouTube channel where my music videos live. Um, anyway, so I just get back to my kids as soon as I can. I make sure to call them, of course, when I'm gone or FaceTime. Um, and that's kind of how I do it. I just don't waste any time in, when I'm performing or when I'm at home. And I just prioritize and keep them. They're my number one priority and that helps me be able to manage being a mom and a performer. when I'm doing a local performance, I luckily am able to kind of switch gears pretty quickly. Um, I'm, I'm like a mom until the moment I'm walking out on stage, especially if I perform with my children. It is a whole other ball game when they're on the same concert because I'm a mom until I'm on stage. And sometimes I have to be a mom on stage too, which gets a little <laughs> tricky sometimes if they're misbehaving. Um, I'm not really able to mother on stage and so sometimes my kids get away with things on stage that they might not get away with at home. <laughs> and then they learn a lesson not to do that. Like Matthew has and Sarah sometimes have had battles with their bows up on stage, which we learned after that performance that that's a new role. We don't have Star Wars battles with bows. Um, we don't wave to the audience. There's all kinds of roles, but every time that they come up with a new thing that I have to put a role in after that performance, the audiences seem to kind of eat it up. So um, they are children, and I'm grateful for that. So, um, but being able to manage, you know, being in total mom, that mom vein, and then switching it to performer, and being at the top of my performing game is a tricky thing that I still am working on and praying about and gratefully I think God makes up the difference. You do all that you can and then he makes up the difference and gets you to where you need to be even if you're not quite there yourself. So that's how I manage it and I have a great husband that holds down the fort at home and also when when we do a local show and the kids are there or when we fly with together as a family to perform he um, manages everything so I can focus on performing. So that's how I do it. Thank you for that question. Please give me more questions and topics for this vlog. And I look forward to hearing from you. All my, you can get a hold of me by checking out my links below on my website, Patreon, um, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I'll see you there. Thanks.